Welcome to another episode of The, the Epic, Epic Family Road Trip. I also want to take a second to thank our patrons uh, for your support and bringing these videos to you every week, as well as our awesome sponsors right here. You guys are all amazing and you help us create the Epic Family Road Trip videos. And for that, we thank you. In last week's episode of the Epic Family Road Trip, we drove from Rockport, Texas to the Padre Island National Seashore, where we drove the entire 60 mile beach. spot at the end of Padre Island is so beautiful, remote, and serene. We are the only ones out here other than the beautiful birds that inhabit the dunes and the dolphins swimming through the waterway beside us. The first day on Padre Island was stormy and rainy, but yesterday and today, the clouds blew away and warm sunshine and clear blue skies settled in. We decided to stay another day to soak in the sunshine and the idyllic surroundings. Can't get a better spot than this. Being able to stay an extra day or two at a place we really like is one of the things we love most about the traveling lifestyle. Tomorrow, we will be driving back down the entire beach to begin the drive north to Amarillo, Texas to begin the work on our Jeeps. For now, we will be spending the day reorganizing our gear, relaxing and cooking a delicious dinner of Dutch oven short ribs over an open fire.
As evening approaches, the sky lights up with another breathtaking sunset here on Padre Island. Everything about evenings like this is imprinted in my memory as some of the most peaceful and beautiful moments of my life. It feels like time slows down as the last light of day slips below the horizon and fills the sky with vibrant colors. Out here on the trail, it takes a little more effort and time to get things done compared to our old life in a house with all the conveniences at hand. It takes time to cook a meal slowly over an open fire. But it is time well spent as a family, gathering firewood, nurturing the hot coals, talking and laughing together. And when the work is done and the meal prepared, we enjoy and savor it all the more keenly together, surrounded by this beautiful place. Get up to uh, Amarillo in the next couple of days. 
the day has arrived almost for getting the uh, JXLs on the Jeeps, so we're pretty excited about that. It's going to be a huge change for us, but uh, that's part of part of the journey. So we'll bring it to you every step of the way, and we're going to document, you know, installing and, and what that whole new camper situation is going to be like. But I'll tell you what, this spot we just left, one of our favorites, and the weather is so good today. We we wish we didn't have to leave, but we could say they're an easy another week, but. Um, yeah, amazing spot. We absolutely love the uh, Padre Island Seashore, National Seashore. It's just one of our favorite spots in Texas. seems to be uh, in his comfort zone Don't at that speed. speed. It's crazy. Yep. He just tells me he's going about 26 miles an hour. All right, we'll have water ready for him. That dog can run. He, it, we, I mean, we've been watching him run since for the last two years, but he, every day he impresses us more. Um, he's running through the water here with soft sand under his feet. He's just happy. We pulled over and look at him. He's still going. He doesn't oh, realize yeah. yet. Let me see. He's, he hasn't even turned around yet. He's way up there. You're wow, crazy. I know you are. We're a crazy bird. Let's get some water for him. Master's dog. And the best endurance in a minute, probably. I think he thought it was salt water stuff. It's fresh water, bud. Oh, I guess the five miles is just a warm up for him. He wants to keep going, so here we go. So the, I, I was talking to a fisherman and he figured he might be stuck in the, uh, and he's waiting for a higher seas or something to get out. It's kind of strange. Fueling up. We just uh, got a low fuel light, so uh, we've got a full auxiliary tank. We're just going to refuel while we're uh, sitting here for a minute and we'll get back on the road. So we've seen a bunch of coyotes uh, on the, that live in the dunes here, and hopefully it'll show up uh, on the GoPro, but when a beautiful guy just ran up over the hill, took a look back at us, and trotted off into the distance.
All right, we made it another long drive. We're back in San Angelo at the KOM. And this looks familiar. We know where we're going. I'll tell you one thing, Texas is huge. <laughs> we're halfway to our destination tomorrow, but we have a cabin for tonight. Hey Lando, we're almost there, buddy. Go back. And in the meantime, we'll see you down the road. Thank you all for watching this week's episode of the Epic Family Road Trip. Stay tuned for our upcoming episodes documenting phase two of our Jeep builds as we convert our Jeeps into the ultimate off-grid overland rigs.